All right, 20 worst products from 20 brands. Hopefully in about 20 minutes, we can get through this video because I wanna show you not only the bad of what I do not like, but I wanna show you alternatives. So let's get going on that video right now. months ago I did this same video and you all seem to like it so much you like to see what wasn't good but you also like to see what I do like in place of it so that's what we're going to do today first of all I'm going to put a timestamp right here where the video starts because we do talk about what I'm wearing and my jewelry whatnot and a lot of you just come here for the products you don't come here to see what I got on let's first so talk about what I have on it is of course, just a regular jersey knit t-shirt. I love these shirts. It's so comfortable to be able to wear these, but I always like to elevate them just a little bit. And what's great about this one this time is it does have a cute puff sleeve with a little cuff on it that comes in. And it also has this cute collar with the three buttons down. And I just think it elevates it so much. Now you also know that I like to talk about my jewelry that I have on. This is just a little spiral earring but also inside the spiral, they have a little crystal that lays in there and it just kind of gives it a little bit of fun bling as you're turning your head and whatnot. And then I also have just a really pretty paperclip necklace. I love this big link. It's just so me. I love having different jewelry, different pieces that you can put on. And as always, I'll make sure that my rings, my fingernail polish, any makeup that I have on that's not talked about in this video, all of that will be listed and linked below along with this speaking of links i always put up a number right here because i'm showing you what my numbering system is i will hold up a product that will correspond to this number right here all you gotta do is re remember that you liked whatever number i was holding up that corresponds to it in this case it's number three go down into the description box and you can shop that way because next to the number three will be the product if there is a color that i specify on there and the link and you can shop that way it seems to be so much easier for everybody that's the intro. Let's get into the 20 worst products, yucky, icky, nasty products that I don't like and some alternatives that are really great. First of all, I want to say that if you like any of these products, if they're your ride or die products, don't listen to me, you know, just go on and say, oh, Melissa, she doesn't know what she's talking about or, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. It's just my opinion. So I know that so many women love this makeup, but this makeup did not work for me. And I was a little bit upset because I invested some money into this makeup. This is from Saint and it's all over Instagram, all over TikTok. So many women are talking about it. It's a great concept. And the concept is, is that you have in a palette like this, you have everything that you need for your face. I thought that that was gonna be just the greatest thing ever. When I started into this and when I got into this, this was a greasy mess. And they show you that you can just take certain pieces of it, put it on um, in dots or in little, you know, swatches on your face and then blend it all together and it's gonna be perfection not for me. Uh, first of all, there was no coverage for me and I couldn't build this up and it not look cakey. So this was a no, no, no for me. Here's my alternative. And right now my alternative is not in stock. And of course it's not, but I want to tell you that the Wayne Goss new foundation that he has is such a great alternative. I got it right when he released it because I thought if Wayne's going to release something, he is the ultimate for me and I trust him and I am gonna go for it. And so I got two colors. I got uh, shade nine, which is lighter and shade five, which is a little bit deeper. And this is so good. As you can see, it looks like I've barely even touched this and I have used this over and over and over and over. You need so very little of this to cover your face. And he talks about in his release video, he talked about using it as you know, you could use the deeper colors as contour and the lighter colors as highlighters or mixers. And so I was just all in. I'm like, oh yeah, I love that idea. And I actually think that this is some of the best cream makeup that I have ever seen in my life. It's effortless makeup for the over 40 woman. When you have skin that changes and when you have skin that has spots or melasma or redness or dark circles, whatever, you want to reach for something that you can trust. Oh my goodness. So get on the waiting list. I'm going to put the site down below. There are a lot of darker colors. So if you're one of my deeper skin gals, oh my goodness, don't wait. Just go for it. All right. My next one is the stick concealer from Hourglass. 
when I first got this, I was like, okay, I'm going to love this because I love a high coverage. And I, I started to use it. And first of all, it felt a little cakey, a little thick. And I don't mind a thick concealer because I have dark circles from you know where. But this one was just, it was almost like too much. It was settling. I usually like my concealer to set down a bit and this would not set down enough that I could not have creases in it. Every time I tried to wear it, it was a no-go for me. But recently I did discover a full wear concealer that works really good for me and I do have it on this eye today. Heads up on that one. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear plus something. I don't know what that is. It's a corrector, it says. So not only is it the concealer, but it's also that corrector. So they put the little pigments in there that really do help correct, but the coverage is there. It's really good. The wear is there. That's fantastic. I actually have three concealers in this video today. So if you don't think that you like this one or you've tried it before, try one of the other ones that's coming up. Might be really good for you. Okay, the next product is from undone beauty i was totally underwhelmed by undone beauty in almost every category they have this is the warm-up bronzer glowing coconut extract four in one radiance palette i didn't like the choice of highlighters that they had to begin with and look how thick and how it's just chalky it just feels chalky immediately when you go into there you know normally i will talk about something being buttery this isn't buttery, it's just chalk. I felt like it showed up every bit of texture I had and then these two colors were terrible colors for someone that is just looking for an average bronzer. But you know I always got an alternative for you. I got you covered. So this is from Ulta and this is the Ulta Baked 3-in-1 Cheek Palette and I really, really like this. I did not think that I was gonna like it because of this baked part right here that is the bronzer, but it's like a medium tone bronzer without being overwhelmingly warm. And then I love, I absolutely love this rose color of blush. It's so good. I'm using my wrong hand, so that's why I'm having a little bit of an issue here. <laughs> and then the highlighter, so good. So you have all the face things you need right there in this one pan. It's and not a super soft formula, which I like too, but it feels very buttery and blends very pretty on your skin. And yeah, I really like this one as a substitute for the Undone Beauty. So it was on Ulta and I saw that they had a new brand and I wanted to try some of their stuff. And I'm always looking for the best eyeshadow primer. And this one is from About Face. This is the Smoothing Shadow Fix. It comes with a doe foot applicator like so many of them do. The problem with this one is when I put it on my eyes, it felt slick. Like it had so much dimethicone in it or some of the silicone in it that it just slid around. And there was no gripping property or no property of it being opaque for my eyes to cover up that redness or the whatever darkness I have on my eyes. And I was just like, oh goodness, no, no, can't do that. But I do love, and I know you were thinking I was gonna grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but guess what? This is from Rare Beauty and I really like this. This is her eyeshadow primer and this is opaque. So you get that um, little bit of cancellation of the darkness on your eyelids, but it holds onto your eyeshadow so well. I really love this one and I'm so glad that I found it. And this one, skip over it. It's nasty. It's garbage. I'm going to I'm going to check out one of these days, but yeah, it's not good. The next nope. product that quickly came onto my radar as a yucky, nasty, icky poo product is from LYS. I'm going to get in so much trouble. I always do when I do these videos. LYS, this is their Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. I was so excited about this because I love so much from LYS. I love their foundation, their concealer, their blush, their bronzer, their highlighter, their powder. I love that whole line except for this. This will go on your skin. You have your skincare on. You put your primer on before you put your foundation on. Then you put your foundation on and guess what? An hour later, you're going to touch your face for some reason and you're going to feel this ball up. And I was, the first time I wore it, I was like, what the what in the world? Uh, you know, 
I couldn't believe, I couldn't figure out what I had put on my face that was making my makeup do that. So as soon as I did that and I felt like that was, you know, happening, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm sure enough, it's looking a little cakey. It's looking a little weird. So I just kind of brushed down my, my neck because I always bring all of my products down my neck. I have a lot of discoloration. So I brushed my neck and it was like, oh, and all of my makeup, all of my skincare, everything was just coming off in these huge balls. And I was like, oh, yuck. And I just was like, nope, can't do that. So I tried it two more times, other foundations, other skincare. Nope, it was, it was that product. It was definitely that product. And e.l.f. for the win. e.l.f. is the Power Grip Primer. This is so good. And it's like $10, I think. It's amazing. It will hold on to your foundation. It will create that barrier between your skincare and your foundation and you'll have your foundation on all day it's really okay, good the next then, one is from revlon revlon is one of my favorite companies but revlon could you please come out with a decent blush i'm just saying okay this is the revlon insta blush photo ready stick and it says new formula on it woohoo new formula all right first of all i'm going to paint this on here and you're going to see that there is hardly any there we go you can see a little bit of color there there's hardly any and you can't touch it. Don't touch it and don't try to blend it out because when you do, it's going to go away. It's going to, it's not going to be there. It's just going to go away. So uh, yeah, and definitely don't try to get this to wear all day long because uh, -uh it ain't going to happen. But <laughs> Makeup by Mario. This is called Soft Pop Color Stick in Pale Petal. And this is what the color is right here. This is a color that I picked up because I normally don't pick up a peach or a coral or anything. But you know what? when I get this on my cheeks like I have it on today. It is so pretty. It hugs the cheeks. It stays on there all day long and the creaminess in it is really good as well. It just really has a tendency to make my more mature skin look really good throughout the day. So that's one that I wanted to say, yeah, look at the difference. Look at the difference in the pigment. But yeah, even if I, you know, go ahead and just tap that one out, you're still going to see the color. It's so pretty. It's very saturated. I think that you will love that. Oh my wow. goodness. I've had so many people ask me about this. I don't know what happened, but in the last year, it seems like there has been so many duds come out from Flower Beauty. And it makes me sad because I want to I want to buy this stuff. I love this stuff that came out before. This is the color corrector that they came out with. And I was really excited. I'm like, I'm like digging in here. This in the pot is so, it is so hard in the pot. And then, so I, you know, you get kind of get it warmed up with your finger and okay, maybe I can do that, but it is just not a good color. It's like yellow instead of peach. I mean, it looks really peach in here. You get it on your skin. It looks really yellow, but it was too dry for me. And it just made everything look more dry underneath here. And I can't have that. It's just, it's not a good look. So Pixie by Petra for the win. This is not anything that's new to you guys. Very creamy and yet thick enough to do its job. If you get on the Pixie website, they do have a darker color for darker skin people. And I, this is the one that's brightening peach. I think that one's called apricot or something like that. So you do want more of an orange if you're darker skinned. So this one, it just, you can see the difference. I hope you can see the difference in the two. You got yellow or you've got peach, but yeah, that's my pick for a color corrector way over that new one from Flower Beauty. All right, I told you there was a bunch of concealers in this video and this one is from pure I, I got sent this so this is how you know that i try to be extremely truthful about my reviews i got sent this when i first tried it i was like okay you know innovative first of all you push the button and the top comes off it's not a twist that was kind of cool i liked the applicator that was kind of cool even the coverage at first i was like that's gonna be good okay so it's very almost serum like it's not super thick but you can see that it has a pretty good amount of coverage right okay <laughs> about an hour and a half two hours into this it was gone it's just like where did my concealer go i mean all of my darkness was showing through everything was looking gray and nasty and i was like 
what? And so I tried it again like three or four more times and sure enough, it just does not last. And that was my problem. And the other thing is, is that if you try to tap this out even a second before it's ready to be tapped out, meaning it needs to sit down, it's going to just disappear on you. It's also going to turn muddy. I had two colors, I think, maybe three colors they sent me and every single one of them turned muddy. So I was like, I'm not into that. Sorry, when it goes under here, it better be perfection just about darn near. And here is the new one from Sephora, the best skin ever concealer. I'm impressed. I like this very much. This is going to be a lot different color. However, this has that same serum-like feel, that really light feel when it goes on underneath there. But man, the coverage on this is so good. It's there all day. Your, it looks like skin under there. There's no crinkling for me. It doesn't look like, you know, it's dried up partway during the day. It, it's so pretty. I just love it. I'm as excited about this as I was about as I am about the foundation, just so good. All right, another thing that I was sent and I was so excited about because I was like, I am on the Bare Minerals PR list. I was like freaking out. I was so excited and I, everything, I loved almost everything in that bag except for this. And this is the Mineralist Sunlit Palette. But okay, six colors, they look very pretty, right? I just started like trying to swatch these. I was like, okay, let's get this going, you know, and I'm really excited about it. And the shimmers in here were okay. Here's another shimmer, not the greatest. That's a greenish color. Oh my goodness. You can barely see that color. Ah, I just was really like, okay, this, this does not have enough pigment. It goes on very patchy and I'm very disappointed. And I was like, that just made me really sad. The one that I chose to substitute was one that was very much like it. So you have the elastic around it, but this is from the Sephora collection and this is called the Pocket Palettes. And this is one is called the Cool Nudes. And it's what I have on today, except for my liner on the uh, bottom is um, an Urban Decay. I, I'll put it down below which one it is, and I smudged it out. There's three mattes in here. This one, this one, and this one. And again, remember when I just talked about things being buttery? Oh my word, these are so buttery. I just, I love them. They're so pigmented. And then you get into these shimmers, and wow. What I love uh, the most about these shimmers is they're not super shimmers to where you can't wear them. They are the most wearable shimmers because they are, they're like a pullback from a shimmer. They're not a metallic, they're not high beam. They're just kind of a cross between a matte and a shimmer. So you've got like a satin shimmery, a shimmery satin, no glitter, beautiful, beautiful colors. This color right here, this color right here, which is just a taupey brown color. Look at that. So pretty. I I really like these pocket palettes. LA Girl had these glazed lip paints and they were supposed to be super intense color and gloss in one, right? Okay. When you put when you get this out of the tube, you're thinking, "Okay, that's great." The problem is it's got like a slick quality to it. So, in order for it not to feel like it's super juicy on your lips or it's not going to go everywhere on your teeth or you know get smeared all over you almost have to kind of pat it out a little bit which is okay still but when you pat something like this out you lose a lot of the glossiness to it and that's where i ran into trouble it wore very patchy as it wore off and i found that it wore off extremely quickly but the sephora collection has these glosses that are called glossed gloss and they are so pretty this one is called glam glam is a rose copper color that i immediately fell in love with i do like these when they have just a little bit more of the shimmer in it i shouldn't say shimmer because it's not shimmer it's more of a metallic cast to it i do like them when they have that the next one that i'll just show you very quickly i have here with me is called wild this one doesn't have any shimmer or anything in it it's very clear but it has reflex of purple and pink in it and so it will make any lipstick that you have on just super bright and then the next one this is probably my favorite one that they have and this looks so 
funny in the tube. Doesn't that look funky? You're like, oh, that doesn't look good at all. So it has a cast of like green and yellow and orange in there. And when I first was like, is like, I don't know. But then I swatched it. I was like, ooh, baby. This is called Money. And it is the coolest color. Put a pink liner on and then put money on. And I'm here to tell you, you will love your lips. It looks terrible right there. It looks like gold and nasty, but it's so, so pretty on. I, wow, I love that. And then they have a couple. Well, let's, let's do this one first. This one's called Regal. And it's kind of like a very purpley color. Again, that metallic and the high shine so pretty and then the last one i have is called magic now magic does have a little bit of metallic reflex in it i mean teeny tiny amount but it is a very high pigmented one as well and it's kind of like it's kind of like a plum color they cling to the lips i can get like two to four hours of wear out of them obviously if you're going to be eating or anything they're going to come off it's a gloss but it's not that ticky stacky it's not that ticky tacky it's not that ticky tacky sticky gloss that we used to wear so much of and you're not going to get the little doodads that go in between your lips when you're talking i love this gloss <laughs> 